125B industrial scope meter has the power and harmonics mode, which offers single phase power measurements with waveform and harmonics display. To get started, let's take a look at the probes required to perform the power and harmonics measurements. This is a shielded test lead, the STL120. Comes standard, two of them, a blue and a red one, with any 120B series kit. This will measure our voltage. This is the I400S AC current clamp. In order to hook the AC current clamp up to the instrument itself, you'll need the BB120, which is the banana to uh, BNC adapter. It hooks on, like so, it's keyed, and then you twist it, and then it's on. The current clamp itself comes standard with a 125B kit. Now you can hook your AC current clamp up to the instrument and clamp on to your current source. And keep in mind when you're clamping on to the current source to this arrow right here on the inside, make sure that it's pointing towards the load. And also you have the right sensitivity uh, selected for your application. You can choose between 10 millivolts per amp or one millivolt per amp. In this demonstration, we'll have it switched to 10 millivolt per amp. Now I'll hook, hook up the uh, voltage test leads. We now have some sine waves to look at. To get to the power and harmonics mode, press the menu button, use the up and down arrows to get to power harmonics, then press enter. For initial setup, make sure you select the right sensitivity for your probes. So in this example, we have the AC current clamp switched to 10 millivolt per amp, which is highlighted here already. Press the enter key. You also need to make sure your settings are right. Press F3 for your, pro your voltage probe, probe A or channel A. Press the enter key. In this case, we have the one-to-one -one test lead, which is the STL120. Press enter. You'll see here that you have your histogram display. If you use F2, you can toggle between histogram and waveforms. If you press F1, you can toggle between current, power, which is displayed in watts, and voltage. If you turn the cursor on, you can now select which power harmonic you want to look at. So right now we're currently on the third harmonic. In the histogram screen, you'll be able to see in the voltage setting, your AC voltage, your total harmonic distortion relative to RMS or fundamental, which you can also change in settings by pressing F3 and using the up and down arrow to choose between uh, relative to RMS or relative to fundamental. We'll leave it on relative to RMS for this demonstration. Also in the screen, for this particular uh, harmonic that you chose, you can also view its voltage its frequency, it's uh, again, it's percent R relative to RMS, and it's phase angle displayed in degrees. If we toggle to current, same information, but with current, and then toggle to power, same information, but in watts. Now let's toggle to, by pressing F2, the waveform. You notice here, you may choose watts by toggling F1 or volts amps by pressing F1. So let's toggle back to watts. Here you can see your power factor, your reactive power in bars, volt amps reactive, your apparent power, which is in volt amps, and your real power, watts, as well as frequency. If we add a third harmonic distortion on the current, Notice the blue sine wave, which is our current measurement, experience distortion. And at the same time, you can see your power factor and all your other power parameters change. In this case, we're adding distortion to our supply. So that means our power factor is decreasing. And you can also see it decreasing, or you can also see the histogram bar of this if we go to current display. And now let's improve our power factor and watch our third harmonic bar decrease. That's all we've got for power and harmonics mode for the 125B scope meter. Thanks for listening.